There are also other properties that you can list for minerals. Now how I like to think about other properties is if you were on the field and you had these mineral data sheets, what are some other very distinctive properties of those minerals that could help you identify the minerals in question, like if you're out in the field or if you're looking through these minerals in the boxes in the first place? Some other properties could include its kind of texture. So what does the surface of that mineral look like? A good example would be this olivine, where the olivine looks like it's sugary textured, like it's just a bunch of green, sugary looking crystals. Or another kind of property could be its habit, the way in which the mineral grows. So this piece of halite forms little small cubes. So even if you were to look at a piece of salt, essentially halite, underneath a microscope, you'd see that it forms these nice little cube-like structures. Another example of habit could be like this garnet. Now this is a piece of schist, which is a metamorphic rock, but within this piece of schist it has little smaller minerals, if the camera can focus here, that are called garnets. There we go. And they form these nice little soccer ball shapes. Or another example could be that it looks like flat sheets that look squished together, like this sample of biotite right here. Really use the other properties to help you distinguish between some of these minerals. Now you could put other things like if the mineral is heavy. Is this mineral magnetic? So if you were to take your magnet bar and place it on the mineral, is it magnetic or is it non-magnetic? 